Inc. Magazine recently labeled Argentina one of the toughest business climates on earth. During the last decade, the country experienced a severe economic crisis. And the business climate has been getting worse. The country also ranks among the most corrupt nations in South America. However, the tech sector in Argentina has seen amazing growth. Hundreds of new companies have started up, and in 2007, Google opened its third international office in Buenos Aires, with Yahoo and Facebook following close behind. So, how did a country that seemed to do everything wrong create such a thriving tech sector? If we look to places where entrepreneurship thrives, like Silicon Valley, we can see that connections between entrepreneurs are very important and multiply their impacts beyond individual companies. At Endeavor, we believe that this can happen anywhere in the world. We have seen that as we support high-impact entrepreneurs and help them grow to reach their potential, they create jobs and value at their companies. And as they connect to others by inspiring, mentoring, and investing in other entrepreneurs, they build networks that transform industries, inspire the next generation, and create entrepreneurial ecosystems in their countries. We call the combined impacts of these connections the multiplier effect. In order to test the impact of the multiplier effect, we surveyed 200 tech entrepreneurs in Argentina to create a map of the sector in which companies are represented by circles and organized by the year that they were founded, running from 1990 to the first half of 2011. The size of each circle illustrates how influential the entrepreneurs of each company have been. And we can illustrate their influence to show where they have multiplied their impact and inspired others to become entrepreneurs. We can also see where they have mentored other entrepreneurs. where their former employees have started new companies, and where they have invested in other firms. As you can see, the connections among these companies are quite dense. And together, their impact on Argentina is huge. Over time, the multiplier effect of these companies has even attracted other organizations to create a true entrepreneurial ecosystem for this sector. We have also seen that starting in 1997, Endeavor's Argentina office has selected and supported many companies, shown here in green, that have been very influential. In fact, without the companies started by Endeavor's entrepreneurs and all the companies they inspired, the network would look like this. When we talk to Endeavor's entrepreneurs at some of the most influential companies in this network, they told us what Endeavor's support and the multiplier effect have meant to them. Being an entrepreneur is it's emotionally draining. You have a few ups, you have a lot of downs, you have a lot of uncertainty. And to be able to count on a network such as Endeavor during that process is invaluable. And it becomes sort of a, like a second family. Endeavor has had a central role in making everyone uh, very conscious about the importance and the benefits for a society of having a strong and thriving entrepreneurial ecosystem. The word uh, entrepreneur was not known in the vocabulary in Argentina before Endeavor. We didn't build it by design. It was simply probably embodying the values of Endeavor that Endeavor taught us or Endeavor taught me uh, and put them into practice by mentoring others and helping other entrepreneurs become successful as we started to become successful. So Endeavor through the selection and also putting you on the spot 
to act as somebody who may be inspiring others is very important. And the work helped me discover that besides uh, being uh, an entrepreneur, I had a significant role to play uh, by trying to mentor others to do what, what I've been able to do. Um.